guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the second part of the series, let's put it like that, a video about starting baby foods. I know it's been like three months since I've done the first part, but I was waiting for Elizabeth to be a year old so I could have a more complete video about how she started uh, solid foods. As I said in the first video, I'm not a doctor, so I can, I'm not telling you this is the best or this is what you have to do. I just want to share our experience with you and so maybe you'll get inspired from what we did. So I have some notes here because I'm sure I'm gonna forget something. So in the first video, the first video ended uh, just talking about the first two weeks of Elizabeth starting uh, solid foods with her little meal with the cereals and the veggies and the broth. So, and that was when she was around six months because she started eating solids food when she was five and a half months old. So after a week of starting the solids foods, I started putting a spoon of Parmigiano cheese in her food too. She had no problem with that. So after two weeks, I started putting meat in it. So I was in Italy and they have this, uh, let's, I don't know how you call it. Uh, like it's dry meat so it's supposedly more higher quality something like that so i started giving giving her that because they say it's more digestible so after a couple of times of giving her that and she had no reaction i started giving her real meat i would just like uh, steam it in the uh, baby cook and then just mix it with the rest of the meal that was just for lunch so the, all the other meals she would just get my breast milk and a six and a half month too she started with apple and she didn't really like it at the beginning but after a couple of times she did so i didn't really force her i was just waiting that she would get accustomed with the taste so around seven months uh she started having dinner with real food so with different kind of kinds of meat and cheeses so she will, I will use chicken, beef, veal, lamb. In Italy we eat rabbit too, but here it's not very easy to find, so not really uh, any rabbit. And like cheeses, like cream cheese, ricotta cheese, parmigiano, mozzarella, any kind of cheese you can think of. So at this point, at seven months, I would just give her my breast milk uh, as breakfast. All the other meals, lunch, snack, and uh, dinner, she will get real food. At eight months, I she already had six teeth, so I could see that she wanted more texture in her food instead of everything being smooth. So I started giving her more chunky things, like the vegetable, not smooth it completely, but leave it a little more chunky. And at the same time, I started introducing legumes, so beans or um, lentils, cannellini beans she loves, chickpeas, so all the legumes, one, every, one different every, every time. At eight and a half months, I started introducing fish. So let's say, I don't know if you notice, it's every two weeks I will put something new because I will give myself two weeks to try it all the legumes or all the kind of meat or all the fish and then move on to the next category let's put it like that so at eight and a half month again she started fish uh, i'm not a big fish person i don't really like it i don't really like to cook it but i do it for her uh, she ate so flounder and salmon so far uh, and last but not least a nine, nine month she started eating eggs they say to start with the egg yolk so i started putting her in a little pastina with the water boiling i would just put the egg and mix it all together so it will get like cooked for at least 10 minutes you have to cook it very good very thoroughly and uh mix with the pasta she didn't have any reaction so i gave her another one the week after the whole thing not just the egg yolk in Italy they say to give just one egg a week so I do that I know here like usually you eat a lot of eggs during the week I don't know I just don't do it I'm not used to that so that's how I do so from nine months 
after she after we introduced the eggs she was eating pretty much everything uh, all the kind of meat all fish uh, legumes um, eggs vegetables everything all kinds of fruit the yogurt uh, cookies everything so the only thing that I want to add is that at 11 months so after New Year's Eve I stopped breastfeeding because I didn't have much milk yet because I was just breastfeeding for breakfast and I could see that I didn't have much milk because she was always hungry after the feeding so I would always have to add it something else and I tried to give her cow milk in any form uh, colder warmer in a bottle with a straw with melted cookies inside to make it that taste better she doesn't like it she doesn't like to drink anything that is not water so I didn't really force her like she eats everything and more if you follow me on Instagram you know that she loves to eat uh, so I didn't force it on her because it, it's not written anywhere that babies have to drink milk like they have to and since she gets all she needs from all the other food that's fine that's my opinion so let's move on to the weekly food plan that I have for her um, I go grocery shopping once or twice a week and I try to get everything I need so I don't have to go back so I've made this little plan on my phone so I know what she's gonna have Monday or Tuesday blah 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 it's everyday different it's not like I have to follow it no matter what like if there's something different at the food store or I have something different at home I will change it a little bit but it's more like a guide so I vary everything for her so she's not always eating the same thing every day so I read it but I'll make a little thing for you to see it so it's better than me just talking right now she's almost a year old and she has four meals a day she has breakfast uh, lunch, a snack in the afternoon, and dinner. She doesn't have a second breakfast because she, lately she's been waking up pretty late, like around 8.30, 8. So she has breakfast late, and since she has lunch around noon, uh, she doesn't really have the time to have a second breakfast and eat lunch too. So for breakfast, she usually has yogurt, some cookies, like baby cookies, they're called Plasmon, I showed them in a video, she loves them and it's they melt in her mouth instantly, I usually give, give her three of them and so I give her either yogurt or oatmeal with uh, fruit and peanut butter or uh, almond butter or hazelnut butter and fruit mix, so banana or um, blueberries or apple. For lunch I always give her a cereal so that it's either a pasta like wheat pasta or farro or barley or rice so I alternate every day what I'm gonna give her and I put with it usually uh, some veggies so zucchini carrots she loves pumpkin or broccoli and I sometimes put a little cheese with it so some ricotta cheese or some cream cheese and I mix everything together she loves pasta with tomato sauce too that's what she loves as a snack i always give her fruit it's a healthy snacks and she loves fruit so she never complains and now that it's winter i usually alternate between pear banana grapes or apple apple for her even though she has 10 teeth now it's a little hard to chew so i usually bake it for five minutes i just boil it in uh, water and for dinner I concentrate on the proteins more so I usually do on Monday chicken on Tuesday some legumes it's either lentils or cannellino, cannellini beans or chickpeas so one thing I want to add now that she's almost a year old she doesn't want to be spoon fed that much anymore she wants to eat by herself like she complains if you're trying to give her a spoon so I try to give her bigger things that are easier for her to get with two fingers rather than um, let's say leg lentils are very hard for her to take with two fingers. Wednesday I usually give her fish, Thursday I'll give her beef, Friday I'll make a little frittata with one egg, 
on Saturday I give her fish again and Sunday I'll see I usually give her veal or some legumes depend on what I have home and all day uh, dinner I usually make a plate with the I divide it in four I put a on a four I put the protein then I put some veggies I put sweet potatoes on a side because she loves sweet potatoes or maybe sometimes to make regular mashed potatoes and I put a little avocado because she loves avocado sometimes I don't have it so I just don't give it to her I give her more of everything else that's pretty much it that's the weekly food plan that I use for her and that's how she got from six months old to almost a year old to eat like an adult like she eats like what we eat I usually cook the same things for us and for her she loves food you can go on Instagram and see the stories where she eats because it's hilarious I hope you liked the video if you enjoy it please put a like here below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and I'll see you very soon with the next video bye